So this week we are going to build upon what we did last week and we're going to change this chart right here. And first of all, this week we're going to focus on just changing these points. Next week we're going to get into looking at how to change the background, how to simplify that. But you probably want to know how to change the points first. And we're going to talk about a lot of different things you can do. And I'll talk about four different things. And I learned most of this off of the web and going to sites like Stack Overflow. And especially this one, Cookbook-R, um, a really good really good site for how to just use ggplot. And he has a lot of examples and it's very well laid out. Also, if you haven't checked it out, the actual ggplot website too is very, very good. So um, everything you're going to want to find that's possible to do in ggplot, you're going to find in here. So this is all the syntax, all of it's right here. And it's very easy to go through. But um, let's get back to this series plot real quick. So the first thing I want to do sometimes is make just the things a little bit bigger. And to do that, you would just go into your, um, remember we had this statement last week and we set up this chart right here. So using the USA arrest, when we hit command enter, we get this chart right here. So let's say this point right here, we want to make it a little bit bigger. It's a little bit too small. We're going to go over here into GM point, And then we're just going to do size equals, and I'm going to go for a bigger size to make it clear, size equals 5. Now when we send that command, we're going to get this. But these are kind of blocky and these are hard to see right here. See, so there are going to be some overlap in this one right here. So how can we address that? There's a couple of ways. First of all, we can use a different shape. So if we go here and we do shape equals 2, we're going to change that shape into a different, uh, another type of shape. Now we get clear rectangles. If you want to figure out what the shapes are, I would go back to that website, cookbook dash cookbook R, cookbook for R, and it has all the shapes here. So um, a lot of different shapes, a lot of different things you can use. But let's say we're going to stick with the number two. And we'll go back. And we like how it looks, but we kind of want to change the color. To change the color, really simple. You're going to go back into this line right here, the GM point, and hit color. You can use web colors, but you can also do something like this. Just write red in there, and it'll work too. So pretty neat. What if you don't want something see-through, though, and you want to use those original colors? Um, let's get rid of that shape, too. Let's just make it these red circles that are pretty big that are overlapping. So I've had this issue before. What if you want to keep them solid like this, but you still want to show some differences? You can use an alpha channel, actually. So going in back to that genome point statement, and we'll change it to alpha equals 0.5. Alpha channels means um, transparency, so it's 50% transparent right now using the setting. And what happens when we send it in? We're going to get ones that are 50% transparent. When you see right here, this one right here, um, because it's overlapping, you're going to be able to show that it's overlapping. You're going to get a darker color when the two overlap. So a pretty neat little trick. So those are kind of all the things you can do with um, the ggplot, the GM points, um, size, color, alpha. There are some other things, but I don't use them a lot. These are what I mainly use. And for color, you can also type in some web color. So let's say I want to do um, a team color. And for team colors, I like to use this website, team colors arc 90. And let's say I want to do the Atlanta Falcons red. The Atlanta Falcons is the American football team, plays in the NFL for people who are outside of the country and basically just drop it in there I think you may need the alphanumeric and there we go Atlanta Falcons red 50% transparency size 5 so pretty neat and very very versatile so ggplot this is just another example of how versatile it is and how much better it is than a lot of other things i've been using but um that's just a quick thing we did this week so when we started out we just had um we had just black dots and now we have these pretty cool dots so next we're going to work on cleaning up this background so I usually don't like these lines like that, so I'm going to clean it up and make it simpler and then go through my process and how I do that. But hope you guys enjoyed it this week. Um, if you did like this video, remember to like it and remember to subscribe to my channel and stick around because 
We're going to do um, a couple more videos on on scatter plots and then move on to other plots. So thank you. Bye.